Be veg. Go green. To save the planet. Okay, so every morning we have fresh fruit, fresh enzymic fruit with all kinds of fibers in it. We don't do sweet fruits in the morning. And then I also have pre-soaked nuts. A delighted welcome to all our viewers. Today on Vegetarian Elite, we continue our story on vegan Hollywood actress and stunt woman Spice Williams Crosby. We're invited in her home for a vegan breakfast with the Crosbys, meet her wonderful family, and learn of her discussion with Supreme Master Ching Hai two years earlier. These are walnuts and they've been soaked overnight because there's enzyme inhibitors inside nuts. If you leave a nut on a table and walk away, come back in a year, you'll still have a nut. But if you put it in water, it releases the enzyme inhibitors and it allows it to sprout. That makes it live living food. This is live living fresh protein right here. This is the good stuff with omega oils. And then I combine that. We're going to have organic pears and organic oranges today. Okay, honey. Okay. Breakfast is served. What time are we eating now? Uh-huh. I love it. There you Eat. go. Great. Godmother Christine. Thank you. Luke. Lukey. Okay, so let's see. Oh, let me see, let me see. Luke, mm. Nothing like God's fruit. Oh, my God. That is good. That's a meal. That's breakfast. Our kitchen is animal free, vegan friendly, but safe to all people that come here. We don't have chemicals. We don't have um, um, anything that would hurt you because this is our home. This is our haven. And people that come in here should, when they leave, they always feel good. They don't know why, because we always give them food full of energy, full of life. Every morning I get up, I have 16 ounces of water, and then I cut fruit, and I make it for the family. I lay, it out, lay out all the vitamins, everything. And then my training partner, Lisa, comes, who's also my, school, uh, my kid's school teacher. And uh, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we run around the lake or the park. This morning we did the park. Wednesday we run five miles around the lake. This was three miles today with our little boot camp out at the park. Tomorrow we'll go to the gym and we'll lift weights, we'll do chest, shoulders, and tries, and the elliptical. And um, Thursday, we'll do legs, back, and buys. Well, Tuesday nights, I teach martial arts, and Saturdays, I teach martial arts. So I'm belted, I have three black belts. I'm belted in Arju Kempo. It involves grappling, kickboxing, boxing, um, traditional kata, and self-defense. I'm belted in Escrima. My style is doce pares from the Philippines, Grandmaster Kukoi Kenyete. My styles, you have to study them between 10 and 15 years before you'll be belted. It's not something where you pay some guy 2,500 and you get a black belt in two years. Right. Um, my other style that I'm belted in is called Israeli Kapap. Krav Panina Panin. And it's taught civilian, police, or military. I was also belted in, um, I don't have a black belt, but I was belted to brown in Hawaiian Kempo. So, but I've been studying the arts for many, many years. Yeah. So, um, and, and that keeps me in shape. With her multiple black belts and extensive training, Spice is currently developing a television series focused on helping women bounce back spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. 
She is devoted to empowering people with tips and skills on how to better protect themselves, having overcome a past traumatic experience herself. No, that was nice, but make up your mind. Do you want to, here, do you want to, when you take him down, so you're taking, you're, you're taking him here down, you've got his arm right here, and then you've got his ribs. So you can either do this and hold on to him. I just want you to be conscious. Me personally, if I were to throw him, I would probably throw him and run away. Because I don't want to apprehend a big guy like that. There you go. That's good. So you made a conscious decision not to hold a guy that's how tall are you? Six not how much you weigh? 175. So, you made a conscious decision, and how tall are you? 4'11", how much do you weigh? Okay, so you made a conscious decision. I can take him down, but I'm not gonna, I don't really need to hold him. My job is to get home and be safe. Not try and be macho man, macho lady, and try and hold him till the cops get there or something like that, you know what I mean? So, all right, so. Uh, you guys all did a great job. We bow to each other in a circle because we're all connected, right? Through the universe. And we have Sensei Benny, Sensei myself. All right? A loud kiai. Yapo! Come on. Be veg, go green, save the planet. It's time to meet one of the two main men in Spice's life, Gregory Crosby. As the first grandson of the renowned musician and actor Bing Crosby, Greg was born and raised in the entertainment industry. He currently works as a producer and screenwriter and has collaborated with Hollywood notables like John Travolta. Greg has been a vegan for 20 years. He looks pretty great, especially for someone close to 60, don't you think? Hi, I didn't know you were filming. I was developing a show for CBS about a superhero and a woman who I felt needed physicality, like muscles and stuff, and so I had interviewed quite a few bodybuilders, female bodybuilders, but they couldn't act. And then Spice walked in and she had been trained as a professional actress, and she had the physicality and the look, and she was perfect. So that's how we met. It was actually she came in to read for me. And when Luke was born, he was the, the love of our life. My husband and I would both step in front of a bullet for him. And Luke means the bearer, the bringer of light. And then I went, oh, well, if I'm going to have a kid now, I have to do it my way. So, Izzy, no vaccines. He will be uh, a vegan. He will learn to cook. His girlfriends are going to th so thank me. Let's now meet the other man in Spice's life her not-so-little boy, Luke, a handsome, six-feet-tall, athletic 15-year-old who has been a vegan his whole life. So this is my little boy. And he always, not very little, but... <laughs> <laughs> and he always will be my little boy. But um, he's very healthy, and I, I love him, I respect him. Uh, he's an amazing martial artist, an excellent student, and he understands how important it is to love life, to respect animals, and to eat healthy, and take his vitamins. It's his life. Luke, how have your friends reacted to you being vegan? Well, you know, being a vegan, it doesn't bother them in any way, actually. They actually enjoy my food a lot better than theirs. <laughs> my best friend, actually, right now, um, Mark Estrada, he's a um, big meat eater. You know, he used to eat tons and tons of red meat. And over the years since he's been friends with me, he, you know, then again, he also was a chubby kid, too, from eating all this red meat and just all this bad stuff. And when he started, you know, working out with me and my family and started eating better foods, he's actually lost a good 30 pounds. And, you know, he's joining the football team this year, so, you know, and he's just doing a lot. He's great, so, and it's all because of our diet. 
Good. And your mom said you travel around the world also? I do, I do. I, you know, my mom, you know, being in Star Trek and being in all these movies, you know, and I'm trying to get my acting career on the way as well. And we take all our vegan food with us, and even around the world, wherever we go, they'll be, what's, what's, being, what's it like being a vegan? And we just tell them what we all say, you know, it's great, you should try it. Our first time meeting Spice and Luke was two years ago, in 2008, during an international climate change conference held in West Hollywood, California, USA. During the event, Spice and Luke had the opportunity to talk with Supreme Master Ching Hai about the health benefits of the vegan diet. I am Spice Williams Crosby, and Hi. outside of being an actress and a stunt woman, a martial artist, I am a 30-year food combining organic vegan. And I also was the first vegan bodybuilder to squat 315 pounds and bench 235 drug-free and animal-free. Wow. Wow. It can be done. Look at her. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Master Xing Hai, Ni Hao Ma. Ni Hao. <laughs> um, I'd like to introduce my son, Luke. Gregory Crosby, and he will ask the question. Uh, hello, my name is Luke Gregory Crosby. I'm the great grandson of Bing Crosby. Wow, hello. Uh, I'm 13 years old, and I've been a vegan for my entire life. I study martial arts, Shotokan, and I've never been vaccinated and everything. But when. When I was 18 months old, I uh, got the Coxsackie virus from a new, newly vaccinated child, and from that, um, I got type 1 diabetes. But my question is, being a vegan keeps all diabetics' blood sugar regulated. How come doctors don't tell people about vegan, like diabetics, for instance, about vegan diets to keep their blood sugar regulated? Beautiful, Luke. I'm so sorry. You don't need vaccination, but another vaccinated person could even infect you with this uh, trouble of diabetic. Now, uh, you're right, Luke. I think the doctors should inform all their patients about uh, the helpful factor of being a vegan to cure diabetic as well as to, to prevent it to further development. Maybe they don't know it, Luke. Maybe they don't know about vegan diet that helps diabetic people. So what we do is we can put this in our website on the suprememastertelevision.com for people to look up to. And you or yourself or anyone here or anyone out there, you know, please put it on your website as information for the diabetic people. Yeah, so that they know they can cure themselves by turning into vegan. Thank you, Luke, for the beautiful information. And you look beautiful yourself. Your mother must be proud. Hi, Hi Supreme, Supreme Master. Master. As our day was winding down and we're getting ready to say bye to Spice and her lovely family, we offered her some gifts in appreciation for her big heart and hospitality. The gifts included Supreme Master Ching Hai's number one international bestsellers, The Dogs in My Life and The Noble Wilds, as well as music DVDs from the benefit concert One World of Peace Through Music and our program A Journey Through Aesthetic Realms. Wow, this is for me? I love this bag. It goes so well with my hair. Let me see what's in here. Oh, no way. Wow, first, let me put my hat on. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, thank you so much. This is amazing. Oh, this is so cool. Thank you so much. And I get, let me see. Wow. 
this is such a great gift. I mean, to be able to spread information is so important. That is the greatest gift you could give anyone. To have knowledge um, and not share it is a shame. So my advice to everyone is whatever knowledge, whatever education you have, share it, spread it around. It's worth its weight in gold. And when you learn about veganism, share it. Share it with your family, share it with the world. That is the greatest gift. And these are gifts, these are great gifts. A lot of knowledge in these books. And music. Yes, this is beautiful. Look at these, look at these. Look at St. Francis, look at my book. Uh, these are so beautiful. Well, you can tell by my house with all the animals and the uh, fountains and uh, that this is the way I want to live my life. This is beautiful. I, I thank you so much. This is a beautiful, beautiful gift. Thank you. We want to thank you so much for allowing us to come into your home. Your home, this world is our home. So thank you so much for allowing us to share ourselves with you and your family. Uh, I just want to thank you for the opportunity and I just send you lots of love and light. Our gratitude to you, Miss Spice Williams Crosby, for being such an inspiring paradigm of compassion, strength, well-being, and hope. With your talent and charisma, surely your Hollywood stardom will forever shine in the hearts of many. Kind viewers, thank you for joining us today on Vegetarian Elite. Please stay tuned to Between Master and Disciples coming up next. May your life be filled with bright rainbows and smiling faces. Learn more about Spice Williams Crosby, Hollywood action actress, fitness coach, and co-founder of Spice of Life Veg Products at www.spicewilliams-crosby.com and www.spice-of-life.com. Be veg. Go green. To save the planet. please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash V E 